abs every day for two weeks, finished. I applied myself, I watched what I ate, and I made sure I hit my abs every day for two weeks. As you can see, there's a bit of a difference from the previous video that I shot. You can see for yourself, flexing, chilling, obliques, obliques, right? <clears throat> Just apply yourself, balance lifestyle, hit your abs every day, it doesn't always have to be a rigorous routine, but just hit the abs every day. You don't always have to go as hard every day, but try to hit the abs. Be conscious of your core. Keep your mind on your goals. So this is what two weeks looks like. I kind of took my body weight down in general with the diet I've been on. You guys want tips on the diet? Leave a comment. I hit my abs to grow my abs. There's a difference between training for endurance, right? I see a lot of people sometimes when they're in the gym or they're working out doing their core they're doing rep ranges well above the necessarily rep ranges to grow the app muscle. I see them going more into endurance, like anything over 12 reps, you're just training for endurance at that point, right? To build mass on the muscle, you have to put weight on it, okay? So grow your abs like any other body part. You want your abs to protrude, right? To be 3D, you want them to have that 3D look, you have to put weight on them. One of my favorite ab exercises is weighted crunches. You guys take that applied to your routine. It helps to put mass on the abs, gives it depth. It's the same thing, if you wanted to grow your bicep, what would you do? Would you just keep curling 10 pounds? No, because you know what would happen? Yeah, the muscle would lean out, but you wouldn't get any mass on that muscle. You have to add weight. So treat your abs like you treat your bicep. Have that same mentality and you'll reap the results. And with regards to planks, leg raises, things of that nature, yeah, those things will get you strong. It helps stabilize your core, give you all that strength you need for stabilization. But as far as mass on your core, that's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. You're not gonna get bricks for abs by doing planks, leg raises, things like that. No, you have to contract. Your abs perform the motion of contracting your midsection, bringing your hips forward. You have to take them through full range of motion in order to build mass on them. So a static hold, such as a plank or leg raises, yeah, all that stuff's good for endurance and for stabilization and for strength. And a lot of the ab workouts I see people doing are good for their pelvic floor muscles and their, and their hip flexors and things of that nature. But as far as your abs are concerned, you have to have that contraction. You have to have that contraction. You have to have that weighted contraction. Even when you're doing your obliques, you have to add weight. So if you're gonna do a Russian twist, make sure you have some sort of weight in your hand, all right? If you're doing a cable crossover, make sure you have a good amount of weight. You pull out from the cable, get yourself a good amount of weight, and rotate your shoulders through your movement. All right, don't let your arm pull, let your core do the work. That's how your core will reap the benefits. And as far as eating, yo, diet is very important. You have to bring your body fat down. You have to bring your body fat down in order to see your abs the best way you can. So keep this in mind when it comes to training your core, you have to also watch what you eat. You can't just be doing abs and eating anything you want. I'm sorry, you don't have that luxury. When I say your core makes you a cut above, or a defined core sets you a cut above because of the sacrifices that it entails to keep that physique, to keep your core looking tight, and to keep your abs prominent where they can be seen, all right? And that's sacrifices. You can't be eating everything you want. Sorry, you just can't do it. You can't have both worlds. You guys stay dedicated, keep pushing. It's not gonna be easy, but like I said, apply yourself, make this a lifestyle. Even though I set a goal for two weeks, I'm still gonna be consistently applying this same mind frame, this same energy to my core for my life. This is a lifestyle. This is nothing to accomplish and done, all right? No, okay, this is a life decision that I've made for myself. Being fit is nothing to attain, and then you throw your hands up like, yes, I did it, I, I accomplished it, and I'm done, no. Okay, this is a lifestyle for me. Just like you wake up every day and hopefully you brush your teeth, you take your shower, it's the same thing for me with regards to my fitness. Okay, so this is my lifestyle. I hope that you can do the same. 
I hope you apply the same efforts that you do in other aspects of your life with your fitness, okay? <clears throat> because there's nothing more important than you. I wanna say that again. There's nothing more important than you. You can't take care of your loved ones if you can't take care of yourself. Keep that in mind. So when I say there's nothing more important than you, I don't necessarily mean to be selfish, right? What I'm saying is, is to love self, then you'll be able to truly love others. But you cannot love others without loving self. I just wanna hit that home. This is two weeks transformation. If I can do it, you can do it. But forget two weeks, we're doing this for life. I'm in it for life, okay? I want you to be in it for life as well. You don't always have to have a rigorous ab routine, but if you just touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them, every day, mind what you eat, every day, you will see the biggest difference, all right? I'm gonna continue on my journey as I have been, and I want you to continue on your journey. If you're somebody who's along in this journey with me, I commend you. I want you to keep on going, keep on pushing, all right? Your core sets you apart. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna give you guys another side profile. Side profile, side profile, all right? My triceps definitely got more <clears throat> of a workout as well for these past two weeks. Some of the exercises I've been doing as well for my core. Like I said in my previous video, when you're hitting your core, your, a lot of other body parts around it gets hit as well, okay? So if you focus on your core, you realize it kind of branches outward, right? You kind of gain strength that branches outward of your physique. You get what I'm saying? So apply yourself, man, and continue to fight. Are you fighting today?